The update to ChatGPT 5.2 is deceptive. The name implies a small incremental step. Let me tell you, it is not. OpenAI has released data showing ChatGPT 5.2 performs at or above the level of a human expert. This applies to 70% of professional knowledge working tasks. Think about your payroll. Think about tasks you pay expensive specialists to handle. Drafting financial models, analyzing legal contracts, writing complex code, the model does them better. It does them faster. It costs less than 1% of what you pay a human. Let's look at the specific business implications for you right now. The new model dramatically reduces errors. OpenAI data shows a 30% reduction in hallucinations compared to version 5.1. This reliability allows you to trust it with higher stakes work. You can now use it for more of your decision support inquiries without constantly looking over its shoulder. This changes your workflow from constant supervision to final review. Let's look at financial modeling. This is where small businesses often bleed time and money. You might hire an external consultant or a CFO. You spend hours in Excel. ChatGPT 5.2 was tested against junior investment banking tasks. These are rigorous. They require formatting. They require citations. They require logic. The model builds three statement financial models for Fortune 500 companies. It formats them correctly. It handles leverage buyout models. For your business, this means you can generate workforce planning models instantly. Input your headcount, input your hiring plan, input your attrition rates, ask it to project the budget impact across engineering and sales. It produces a spreadsheet, it formats the data, it creates the slide deck to present the data. This is not chat interaction. This is a work product delivery. Now we need to talk about agentic capabilities. This is a buzzword you'll hear often. Ignore the hype, focus on the utility. Agentic simply means the AI can use tools to complete a job without you holding its hand throughout. It can chain tasks together. Previously, you had to break a project into small steps. Step one, write the email. Step two, find the data. Step three, update the CRM. If you tried to do it all at once, the model broke. GPT 5.2 handles long, multi-step projects with 98.7 reliability on tool calling benchmarks. Triple Whale, for instance, a major data platform collapsed a complex multi-agent system into a single prompt. They replaced a fragile web of automations with one instruction to ChatGPT 5.2. Consider a customer service scenario. A client writes in, their flight is delayed, they missed a connection, they need a hotel. In the past, an AI bot would tell the customer to call the hotline. GPT 5.2 manages the entire chain. It rebooks the flight, it secures the hotel, it updates the seating preference, it confirms the compensation, it solves the problem. Your customer support cost drops significantly. Your resolution speed increases. This allows you to scale your service without scaling your headcount. The next massive implication is coding. You might not be a software company, that does not matter. Every business today relies on software in some way or another. Maybe you need a landing page, maybe you need a script to clean up your email list, Maybe you need to fix a bug on your checkout page. ChatGPT 5.2 scores 80% on the SWE verified benchmark. It beats previous models at front-end development. It handles 3D elements. You can describe a single page app in plain English. Create an ocean wave simulation where I can change wind speed. The model writes the code, it creates the file, it just works. For a small business owner, this removes the technical barrier to entry. You don't need to wait for a developer to fix a minor issue. You don't need to pay an agency to build a simple calculator for your website. You describe it, ChatGPT builds it. You deploy it. As a quick aside, Lot & Learns is offering a new AI and automation education platform specifically for your business. Join a community of like-minded professionals to learn advanced prompting techniques, workflow automations, custom GPTs, AI and social media, and a whole bunch more with new courses launching each month. Grab the link in the video description and get started for free. So what about long context? This is about memory, it's about attention span. Most AI models get confused if you give them too much information at once. They forget the beginning of the document by the time they reach the end. 5.2 sets a new standard here. It can process hundreds of thousands of words. It achieves nearly 100% accuracy in retrieving specific details from massive data sets. So what's that mean for you? You can upload every contract you have ever signed in the last five years. You can ask the model to find every instance of a specific liability clause. 
You can upload a year's worth of customer support transcripts. You can ask for a synthesized report on the top three recurring complaints. You can perform deep due diligence on a competitor by analyzing thousands of pages of their public filings. The model integrates information across the entire data set. It maintains coherence. It synthesizes the facts. This is the equivalent of having a team of researchers working for weeks. You get the result in minutes. Finally, we have to take a look at vision. The new model understands images way better. It cuts error rates in half when reading charts and diagrams. It understands spatial layouts. If you work in operations or manufacturing, this is huge. You can take a photo of a dashboard. The AI reads the numbers, it spots the anomalies, and you can upload a screenshot of your software interface. The AI understands the buttons and the workflow. It can write the documentation for that software. It can guide a user through a technical problem based on a screenshot. This bridges the gap between the physical world and your digital data. You need to understand the economics of this. Heavy users are saving 10 hours a week. This is a quarter of a standard work week. If you implement this across a team of 10 people, you effectively gain two and a half new employees. You do this for the price of a software subscription. The cost of the API is higher than the old model. It is $1.75 per million input tokens, but the efficiency is super high. You spend less time correcting mistakes, you spend less time reprompting. The total cost of getting a job done often ends up being lower because the model gets it right the first time. So here's the reality check. Your competitors are looking at this release. Some will ignore it. They'll continue to work the way they worked last year. They'll hire slowly. They'll move slowly. Others will integrate ChatGPT 5.2 into their core operations. This will automate their financial reporting. They will deploy autonomous customer support agents. They'll build internal tools in hours, not months. They'll operate at the speed and cost basis you cannot match with human labor alone. The gap between AI native businesses and traditional businesses just got wider. You're either on one side or on the other. So start today. Pick a really complex workflow in your business, not a simple email, a real multi-step workflow like monthly reporting or lead qualification. Run it through 5.2 thinking mode. Compare the results to your current process and then see the difference. Then automate it.